recruiting. We're recruiting. Bike like squad. On Saturday, September 24th, hundreds gathered for a non-permanent march on the eighth day of the Occupy Wall Street campaign. Mike, check! Mike, check! If you are, if you are arrested, arrested, please shout out, please shout out your whole name, your whole name, and your date of birth, and your date of birth. March started circling Zuccotti Park, where some have been living for the past week before going south down Broadway to Wall Street. Once at Wall Street, the protesters funneled into the narrow sidewalks due to the fact that since the occupation started, Wall Street has been barricaded. It was here that the first of many arrests that day occurred. A man was dragged out of the barricade by police officers. From the angle I was at, it was impossible to see what, if anything, the man had done. The protesters continued down Wall Street, and on a street nearby, a man sat down on the street, refusing to leave. I saw these people, and I couldn't stop. I saw these people, and I could not stop. Take me. Take me. Take me. Take me. Take me. Take me. I submit. I submit. I submit. Take me. I submit. Take me. I submit. Take me. I submit. I submit. Take me. Take me. I submit. I submit. I won't want. The police officers cuffed him and brought him to a squad car. They'll take your home. My dad has a PhD and they took his home. He's got cancer and he's gonna die. Don't just stand by. Do something. Please do something. Please do something. I'm from Woodbury, Minnesota. I go to school. I'm a law student at George Washington University. Take me. I submit. Take me. Take me. Take me. While this was happening, another woman, who onlookers said was taking pictures of the first man's arrest, was also arrested. They have my bags. They're hiding my wrist. Everyone else caught him resist. Get back! After these three arrests, the march went on north. As they marched, protesters began to spill out of the sidewalks onto the streets in violation of the law. The police tried to block the march and funnel it onto the sidewalks. After failing to stop the march on scooters, the police set up a barricade. During some of these skirmishes, violence erupted and some arrests probably occurred. However, from the angle I was at, all I saw was confusion. However, the police were outnumbered by the protesters who easily broke through. By this time, the march had reached the tourist-laden streets of Soho, bringing almost all traffic to a standstill. Protesters yelled at the shoppers and tourists to join them. Despite being outnumbered, the police followed close behind 
and tried at least a few more times, unsuccessfully, to divert the march to the sidewalks. In another plethora of confusion, a woman was arrested, claiming that she did nothing wrong. I just ask not to be touched. That's all. I ask not to be touched. That's all. Let her go. 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 I have not been read my rights. I have not been told why I'm being detained. I asked for badge numbers. I said not to be touched. I would like to speak to someone higher up. I am peaceful. Please. I am an American citizen. Please. With no definite route, the protesters gathered in Union Square. However, while the protesters stood stationary in the park, the police gathered together with orange nets on 14th Street in attempts to finally put an end to the march blocking traffic. When the protesters left Union Square and attempted to march onto 14th Street, they were greeted by orange nets and arrests. Police were not joking around and were trying as hard as they could to control the protest. But the result was just more confusion, in which at least two arrests occurred, including this one, where an officer is seen with his foot pushing down on a protester's neck. Back up. Back up. I'm not gonna ask you again. Back up, you're getting arrested. Back up or get arrested. After the confusion on 14th Street, the protest became fragmented, with a large group heading south down University Place, where the police tried once again to get the protesters out of the street. It was absolute chaos at the corner of 12th Street and University Place. Filming from on top of a garbage can, it was impossible to see what was happening in the fluctuating clusters of cops, protesters, and journalists. All I could see was countless protesters being dragged by the police to nearby vans.
time to go. The arrests continued, one after another after another after another, until eventually the cops had cleared the entire intersection of 12th and University. After they cleared out the intersection, the police moved to enclose the block on 12th Street between University Place and 5th Avenue. On one side of the sidewalk were the protesters arrested by the police. On the other side, there were protesters, journalists, and residents who just happened to be on the sidewalk. I have no idea what's going on, man. I don't, I really like don't. I'm just here to, me and my friend were going to go get a sandwich and we walked on the street, which I guess was a mistake. Yeah. And then we got caught in this protest. I don't know what's really going on. It was unclear if the people who weren't arrested could leave the barricade. Right there, right? Those people ain't allowed to leave. They're bringing the Close it up. Close, it up. Close, Close, up. Up. Close, Close, up. Close them up. Close them up. No, no, don't let them leave. Don't let them leave. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Oh, keep leaving. Turn around. Just stand against the wall. Turn around and stand against the wall. Turn around against the wall. Turn around against the wall. At one point, an officer demanded that no one leave and that everyone line up against the wall to prepare for a wreck. Turn around against the wall. Get up against the wall, sir. They're arresting everyone in the protest. Everyone who was part of the protest today and was caught on that side of the sidewalk is being tied up and arrested brutally. And they're doing violent stuff to everyone right now. I'm not even part of this. I'm just trying to get to my fucking ride. And they are detaining me right now illegally because I'm on a sidewalk when other people are on a sidewalk that have been doing something wrong. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I'm being detained. But apparently I am for some reason. I don't know. Start moving. If you're not part of this, you better get going. Media, media Luckily for me, another cop said that all residents and journalists could go. I have no idea what's going on. I was walking down the sidewalk and they just tried to arrest me. Yeah. So clearly, you know, we're... I... I... I wow. Have you been tired of this protest? No, I'm walking we're to lunch. Walking through the street and they slammed but us up against the wall. They threw from, some guy against me. Down, they've been arresting everyone. Hey, on the side. Just on the side. Everyone's coming through, all right? On the sidewalk, on the sidewalk, you're blocking traffic. Let them go! Let them go! In all, the police arrested over 80 protesters and had to commandeer a city bus to take everyone away. The protesters walked back in fragmented groups to Zuccotti Park. Despite an increased police presence and intelligence that the police might attempt to take the square, no more arrests occurred and the occupation survived for yet another day. Hey,